G'day and welcome back to Stiffy's Workshop. Today I've got a new CPU for my editing computer. This is a Intel Xeon E3 1275, which is just about the fastest um, processor that I can get for this motherboard. There is a like a E3 1275 V2, um, but I couldn't find one of those cheaply, so I've decided to get this one and try that out. Um, right now I've got a Intel i5. Uh, 3470 in the computer and while that's doing a very good job it doesn't have multi-threading which is affecting my editing performance I believe so for the low low price of $60 redos and some thermal paste we're going to try it out and see how we go now first step's going to be we'll uh, remove the side case side of the case get in and we'll start getting the cool old cooler off and then we'll install the new CPU. So a few precautions that I've already made. Obviously got the power supply disconnected from the wall. Got everything other, everything else disconnected. I've held the power button down to uh, just discharge the system. And it'll be nice and careful while we're in there as well. So to avoid damaging anything, you, know, you can't see a thing, so I'm going to come back with some light. Now because it's really now, because it's really hard to, you know, get through with all the extra wires in the way, I'm going to disconnect this main sort of connector here. Remember, it lives back up here, and then I'll take the fan header off, and then I'll have really good access to remove the fan, um, which is connected by four little attachments, which I'll show you in a moment. And then we'll be cooking with gas. Right, yeah, so we're back in action. Here we go. Let's take this connector up here off. There you go, so that'll get that out of the way and that'll just make it much easier to access everything we have to. We'll take this header off. It's a bit hard for you to see that. There you go, is that better? I hope it's better. There you go, got that fan header off as well. So now it's the last thing connecting the the fan to the electronic sections of the motherboard from here. So this is just an Intel stock cooler, much to the disgust of my computer friends or the computer repairer that I was telling what I was doing when I had to go buy my thermal paste. He was like, you're using a stock Intel cooler, they're terrible. They just blow air at the motherboard. And I was like, yeah, well, I don't know, Intel must know what they're doing. Those crazy buggers. Shout out if you work at Intel, love your work. Or AMD, if you work at AMD, that's cool as well. Don't have any of your products, but I think, but maybe I will one day. There we go. Get that off. Remember from our fan video, if you watch that, the Intel sign is up, so we'll keep that up and we put it back down. You can see we probably had a little bit too much thermal paste applied previously, although pretty close. I'm not sure that it was a fantastic pattern in terms of the cooling, but I never had thermal throttling, so um, it's worked well enough. So can't knock it if it's working. What I'll do from here is I'm just going to clean the thermal paste off this section, clean a little bit around the socket because we've got a few bits dripping down, sort of just down through here. You don't want to make a mess anywhere, so I'll clean that up a little bit. And then I'll get this uh, existing CPU disconnected. Fantastic. So I've now got sort of the main loose sections off the CPU. And so nothing to nothing to drop anywhere and going to wreck anything. So now it's just a matter of pushing down on the spring of a thing. Gently lifting it up. And it's going to release our CPU. Lovely. So got the old and the new. I think what I'm going to do now is for the installation, I'm just going to lay the lay the computer down, and that way it's going to make it easy to install. I probably should have done that to start off with, but I'll do that now. Great. Now with installing it, you've basically got these two little plastic pokey bits here, and there's notches corresponding on the CPU, which I'll show you now. This is the new CPU, and you can see those little notches at the top 
that side and then the other side. And they're going to locate in there. So I'll just place it down gently. Great, now it's in position. Get it locked down, the CPU holder. Great, we have CPU installed. So now I will apply some thermal paste, install the cooler, and put it all back together, and then we get to test it. Now there is a number of opinions as to what the correct pattern for the thermal paste is. Um, I was going to do like a like an outward spiral, and then I was thinking I probably should do an inward spiral because then like the middle is going to be the most protected. But then I kind of thought that seems like too much effort. So what I'm going to do is just like splooch it in the middle here. So I'm just going to give it a big splooch. And I think that is going to be great. Great, now we've got our thermal paste on. I'm going to get our CPU cooler. And I'm going to clock it the same way that it was previously. So the Intel kind of going in that direction. Well, that way, that way is up. I've cleaned that copper base really well. So that's got to line it up nicely. Gentle, gentle. Make sure all the prongs are in the right spot. Wiggle, wiggle. Make sure not pinching any wires. Great, that seems really solid. So I'm quite happy with that. We'll uh, put the side case back on, fire it up and see what happens. Right here, here we go, moment of truth. Let's see what we get. We're booting. We've got a Windows thingo. It's taking a little bit longer than usual, but that is to be expected. And we appear to be up. Well, there's some slight different graphical stuff to what I'm usually getting. It's changed the aspect ratio, so I might need to get a different something or other. Get the old task manager up and see if we're see if we're chooching. There we go, we've come back to normal resolution. Uh, I've got eight logical processors, four cores, which is what I was chasing. We're boosting, because base clock is 3.4. So that side of things is working. Great, I think successful processor change. Do some testing now, and see if it's any better than the old one. Thanks for watching and that's me changing the processor. Now, I thought it would pretty good idea to verify my temperatures. So, having a look at this, at idle, um, it's the maximum allowable temperature is 98 degrees, and I'm getting, you know, mid 30s across the board at no load. So, I'll keep an eye on it, and you know, if it gets a bit hot, then I might have to invest in like a like a better cooler or something like that. But for the minute, this all looks pretty good. So, let's rock it.